okay my dear student welcome back to p black elements group 15th elements in this session i have to study the nitric acid hno3 nitric acid how it is and prepared in nitric acids clear nitric acid is an very important chemical compound it is prepared by ostwald process this is also an very important for three marks explain the manufacture of a nitric acid by ostwald process ostwald is a scientist name great scientist next in the ostwald process they proceed in three steps in ostwald process is a proceed in three steps what is the in the step 1 ammonia nh3 clear is a gas plus an oxygen o2 to gives nitric oxide or nitrogen monoxide no plus water h2o that is the first step let us consider what you write in the first step step 1 what are the explanation in the step 1 nitric acid is prepared by by using as a catalyst like a platinum or a rhodium as a catalyst at 500 kelvin at 500 kelvin okay first step what do you are explain in the ostwald process in the first step it's involved ammonia by the addition of oxygen what is called oxidation clear addition of an oxygen is called what oxidation by using what catalyst it's called catalytic oxidation of an ammonia to gives what no means nitric oxide nitric oxide plus water in the first step you have to write catalytic oxidation of ammonia by atmospheric air in the presence of an platinum or a rhodium as a catalyst at a 500 kelvin to gives a nitric oxide that is the first step but in this step reaction balance agilla in your inorganic chemistry should be right in the balanced equation right is as a 4 moles of an ammonia and 5 moles of an oxygen gas to gives 4 moles of a nitric oxide and 6 moles of an water vapors h2 that is the first step clear next what is the second step step number 2 no nitric oxide gas again oxidation to gives an nit nitrogen dioxide no2 gas clear that is the second step in the second step nitric oxide or further oxidation to gives what nitrogen dioxide clear balance agilla thane avagen martira 2 no plus o2 to gives 2 no2 nitrogen 2 to oxygen 2 plus 2 4 oxygen is 4 is the balance this is a second step balance equation next step number 3 the nitrogen dioxide no2 gas is passing through water to gives an nitric acid hno3 and no aqueous this is the step number 3 in the step number 3 what the nitrogen dioxide is dissolved in water to gives a nitric nitric acid nitric acid and nitric oxide nodi hno3 is called what nitric acid no is called what nitric oxide 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 means o2 minus an oxide but acid 
इट्स कंटेन एन एच प्लस है दट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन आसिड एंड ऑक्साइड दट इज द स्टेप नंबर थ्री इन दू टू रेट इन द स्टेप वन करेक्टली गेट ए वन मार्क्स इन स्टेप टू करेक्ट इज ए टू अनदर वन मार्क्स एंड स्टेप नंबर थ्री अनदर वन टोटल वेटेज थ्री मार्क्स स्टेप करेक्ट आगे बरद बस सपोज स्टेप करेक्ट आगे बरदी बस मार्क्स स्टेप थ्रू बस जीरो स्टेप थ्री आगे बस जीरो आल द्री बेशन यू रईट करेक्टली यू गेट हंड्रेड पर्सेंट थ्री मार्क्स अदरव जीरो क्लियर बट In the nitric acid HNO3, you get a purification only 68 percent. Matra. You have to study in your solution chapter azeotropic mixtures. Clear? Minimum boiling point azeotropic mixtures and maximum boiling point azeotropic mixtures. In the remaining 32 percent are water. HNO3 and water to form an azeotropic mixtures. It is concentrated only how much? 68 percent. These are the three important steps involved in the preparation of nitric acid by most world process. Clear? What are the chemical properties of nitric acid? The first important chemical property, it acts as a strong acid. In aqueous medium, in aqueous medium, aqueous medium means water as a solvent. Nitric acid (HNO3) is a strong acid. Means what? It undergoes a complete ionization, or it gives an H plus ion very fast. Suppose HNO3 aqueous in as a water to gives. And H plus ion to water to give an hydronium ion and nitrate ion NO3 minus and H3O plus. Hence HNO3 is a strongly acidic in nature. Clear? Next, it's a reaction with the metals. Reaction with metal. In the reaction with metal, I have to study. Concentrated HNO3 and dilute, dilute HNO3. Concentrated means the number of moles of solute is maximum. Dilute means the number of moles of solvent is maximum or solute is minimum. You have to study in your the solution chapter concentration solution and dilute solution. And another important point. Suppose you are concentrated HNO3, it's in withstand in a long time in your chemical lab, it turns as an yellow color. Yellow color I got to know. You summa or to bottle or to language to put. Suppose HNO3 is an another one decomposes and to gives an NO2 gas. NO2 gas is do it's a reddish brown in color. Suppose in aqueous medium it uh, it is in soluble to. It turns to an yellow color. Give reason for an yellow coloration of an HNO3, which gas is liberated? NO2 gas. Next, let us consider the reaction of a metal with concentrated HNO3 and dilute HNO3. What are the product? Generally, a metal's reaction with an HNO3 to give an metal nitrate. Metal. nitrates metal nitrates the major product is what metal nitrate in case of both concentrated hno3 naru takoli or dilute hno3 naru takoli the major product is what metal nitrate but in concentrated no2 gas is liberated but in case of in dilute n2o gas is liberated okay next reaction with metals like i take an example as in copper as an example copper it reaction with an dilute hno3 and a concentrated hno3 nodi the dilute means the number of mole jaasti because the concentration thumba kadme irutte concentrated mean number of moles ang padme irutte because concentration jaasti irutte the product is same 
cupric nitrate and cupric nitrate cu oxidation state of n copper is in plus 2 state in this metallic in nature is a zero in this complex in this compound is in plus 2 state clear and nitric acid it act as a strong oxidizing agent it reacts with a metal to give one corresponding means you take as a copper copper if taken as zinc zinc to give a corresponding metal nitrate but in case of a dilute acid no gas is liberated in case of a concentrated hno3 to give the liberation of no2 gas that is the the differences this is very important what are the by product you get when dilute and concentrated hno3 reaction with the metals like in copper in this case hno3 act as a strong oxidizing agent it oxidizes metal to corresponding metal nitrates okay next but all the metals are does not reaction with the concentrated nitric acid for example the metals like an aluminium and chromium is an passive or inactive or does not reaction with an hno3 does not reaction with an hno3 what is the reason suppose the metals like an aluminium and chromium suppose at the atmosphere exposed maru takshane to the formation of an a protective layer of an aluminium oxide and a protective layer of a chromium oxide hence new hno3 no add madrunu kuda adu jothike react aagala that is the chemical passiveness or inertness of and the metals like an aluminium and chromium with hno3 to the formation of an oxide coating on the surface to the formation of an oxide coating on the surface you can know first piece of limgina sumar concept nodi helirti pata martirtivi nidhe mama martirtare idu neevu ankoli idu nidhe thookudustha irtare na pata madre nimge enu artha agala idu adhe tara the metals like an aluminium and chromium is in chemical inert with an hno3 to the formation of an oxide coating on the surface clear why it is an formation of an oxide coating suppose an aluminium and chromium it's an reacts with reaction with what an atmospheric oxygen both aluminium and chromium a reaction with atmospheric oxygen to the formation of an an oxide coating aluminium oxides and chromium oxide that is the reason for the formation of an oxide coat clear next let us consider the reaction with a non metals the reaction with a non metals like phosphorus sulfur and carbon and iodine all the non metals is a reaction with an hno3 HNO3 it oxidizes phosphorus to phosphoric acid H3FeO4 and it oxidizes sulfur to sulfuric acid H2SO4 and oxidizes to carbon to carbon dioxide and oxidizes iodine to iodus HiO3 iodus acid that is the reactions of HNO3 with the sum of the non metals like an example phosphorus it an oxidized to what phosphoric acid sulfur to sulfuric acid and carbon to carbon dioxide and iodine to iodus acid okay na these are the reactions of an HNO3 with non metals new HNO3 na elle elle use martive indre nodi Suppose in your competitive exam, you have a second piece of the brown ring test. This is a confirmatory test for a nitrate ion. Nitrate ion is a confirmation test for the brown ring test. Brown ring test. 
ಅದನ್ನ ನೀವು ಲ್ಯಾಬ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲಾನು ಕೂಡ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಾ ಬಟ್ ದ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಬ್ರೌನ್ ಕಲರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನ್ ದಟ್ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ದ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನ್ ದಟ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನ್ ದಟ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸಿ ಟಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಆರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಹೈಯರ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ದ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬ್ರೌನ್ ರಿಂಗ್ ಪೆಂಟ ಆಕ್ವೋ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಫೈ ಇದೆ ಪೆಂಟ ಆಕ್ವೋ ನೈಟ್ರಸೋನಿಯಂ ಐರನ್ ಟು ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಪೆಂಟ ಆಕ್ವೋ ನೈಟ್ರಸೋನಿಯಂ ಐರನ್ ಟು ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬ್ರೌನ್ ರಿಂಗ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಬ್ರೌನ್ ರಿಂಗ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನ ನೀವು ನೀವು ಲ್ಯಾಬಾಗಿ ಬರ್ತಿರಲ್ಲ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮ್ಯಾನುವಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಇದೆ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟಾಗಿ ಇಲ್ಲೇನೋ ಅದನ್ನ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಮಾಡೋ ಅವಶ್ಯಕತೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ದ ಕನ್ಫರ್ಮಿ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ನೈಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಆ್ಯನ್ ಯಾವುದು ಬ್ರೌನ್ ರಿಂಗ್ ಆ ಬ್ರೌನ್ ರಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಏನಕ್ಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ದ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಐರನ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಮೌಂಟು ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಕ್ಸೈಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜೆನ್ ಎನ್ ಟು ಒ ಡೈ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜೆನ್ ಆಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ದ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜೆನ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಔ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ದ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಯಾವ ಟು ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪಿ ಯು ಸಿ ಟೇಕ್ ಎ ಟೂ ಟೂ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ದು ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಹೇಳಿ ಟೂ ಮೈನಸ್ ಓಕೆನಾ ಟು ಸಾಲ್ವಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಎನ್ ಒ ನೈಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಆಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನ್ 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 ಟು ಎರಡಿದೆ ಡೈ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜೆನ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಎಷ್ಟಿದೆ ಮೂರು ಇದೆ ಟ್ರೈ ಆಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಡೈ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜೆನ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಆಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜೆನ್ ಇಸ್ ಎನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜೆನ್ ಡೈ ಆಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ದ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜೆನ್ ಇಸ್ ಎನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಡೈ ಎರಡಿದೆ ಡೈ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜೆನ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಎಷ್ಟಿದೆ ಫೋರ್ ಇದೆ ಡೈ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜೆನ್ ಟೆಟ್ರಾಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ದ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಡೈ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜೆನ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಎಷ್ಟಿದೆ ಫೈ ಇದೆ ಡೈ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜೆನ್ ಪೆಂಟಾಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ದ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜೆನ್ ಇಸ್ ಎನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಓಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ಆ ದ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಕ್ಸೈಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜೆನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಟು ಮೂವ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್